Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the evaporator fan motor assembly in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch non-driver, a Phillips, a Torque 20, and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new evaporator fan motor assembly. The evaporator fan motor is located inside the freezing compartment behind the cover in the middle. It blows air through the evaporator coil and then circulates it throughout the refrigerator. If there is noise coming from the freezer compartment or the temperature rises up way above normal, causing mushy food and there is no air coming out of the air ducts, check and replace the freezer evaporator fan motor if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. To remove the rear panel to get to the motor, we need to take out the ice bucket and all the shelves. So I'm going to start with the ice bucket, lift up the front end and slide it out. We're going to slide this shelf to the right, then lift this end up, push it in, and now we can remove it. To remove next shelf, just slide it out. Now we can uh, pull out the drawers, lift it up, and then we can take it out. And the next one, same way, lift up the front end and pull out. Right now I'm going to pull out the, uh, the bottom basket, lift up a little bit, and then we can remove it. Now we're going to remove the light cover. I'm going to press in the sides, it uh, has locking tabs, and it's going to come off. Now I'm going to remove the light bulbs, just unscrew them. Next I'm going to remove this uh, ice maker plug, it's on the top of the uh, auger assembly. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. We're going to open the tabs on the side. Oops, as you can see, we only had to open one. Our next step would be removing the auger motor and yoke assembly. Using a quarter inch non-driver and taking out four quarter inch screws. Now we can remove this auger motor and yoke assembly, slide it out, don't drop it down because we have a plug at the back that we need to unplug. I'm going to hold it and unplug it. There's a two locking tabs on the side, we're going to squeeze them and pull it out. Next we need to remove these two brackets. Each of them is held in place by two screws. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to take those screws out. Next we're going to remove these uh, rails that supports the ice bucket. We're going to start with the left one. I'm using a same quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to take out this uh, rear screw first. Support the rail and the remote. All right, now we're going to take out this uh, the right side rail. That's the same quarter inch non driver, same quarter inch size screws. And we can remove it now. The next step is removing the ice maker. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. We have only one screw here in front. And I'm going to take it out. It's kind of long. So be patient. So do not remove the screw. We have a spacer here, so keep the screw in so the spacer will come out at the same time. And we're going to pull out the ice maker straight forward towards you. All right, so do not lose this spacer. I, I keep it on the screw like that. Next, we need to remove these two left side rails. Each of them is held in place by three Torque 20 screws, so I'm going to use this Torque 20 screwdriver. 
Now I'm going to pull out this upper rail all the way out. And we expose the rear screw. Okay, so if you will push in the middle insert, we are going to expose the middle screw right there. So I'm going to take out the two screws. Torque 20 screwdriver. And I'm going to pull out the rail completely. And we're going to find the third one right here behind this outer rail. I would suggest you hold on to this rail because it's heavy. And the moment we're going to take out the third screw, it's going to fall down. Support it. It's time for the bottom rail to come off. I'm going to slide it open and we're going to expose screws. Use the torque 20 screwdriver. Next, we're going to remove this rear access panel. It's held in place by four quarter inch screws. And I'm using a quarter inch driver. And we're going to start from the top. And we're going to take them out. Next step would be removing these two light bulb sockets. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. And there's a tabs here. One on each side, so I'm going to press it in, press it in, now we can pull out these sockets. Next I'm going to remove this uh, harness from the light bulb sockets. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're going to pry off. And the second one. Next step, I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to free this uh, rear access panel from the top portion. I'm going to push it down. All right, now we can remove the panel. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver again and I'm going to place it here in the grill and pull it up. Be careful, don't cut yourself. It's not that sharp, but uh, still be careful. Next step would be removing this fan cover. Two screws at the top, two screws at the bottom. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to start with taking out these two screws at the bottom. One in each corner. Now I'm going to push that uh, Connect us through these openings. Now I'm going to release this plug from this cover and uh, using a flatless screwdriver. There's a couple of tabs, one at the bottom, one on the top. Okay, one on the top is in and push in the bottom one and it's off. So now we can remove these two screws at the top. It's a quarter inch. I'm using a non driver, quarter inch non driver, taking those out. We're now going to work out uh, this fan cover. Now we're going to remove this ground wire. Next, we'll be removing this. Evaporator thermistor. I'm going to slide this bracket off. Okay, and now we can take this off. Next, we're going to disconnect this plug. Squeeze these tabs and pull it apart. Now I'm going to disconnect the other plug here on the right. Squeeze the tabs, open them and pull it apart. Next, we're going to remove this cover with the motor in it. Two screws, one on the left, one on the right. Quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to remove them so we can take out this support shelf. And now we can pull out the shelf. All right, let's place it a little down here so we can uh, remove this plug. 
I'm gonna peel off this insulation and I'm gonna slide this blue plug out so we can take uh, this assembly to the uh, table and uh, change the motor. All right, so next we're going to do is I'm gonna peel off this insulation to the side and slide the plug out. Next, I'm going to remove the fan blade and I'm gonna put it on the side and I'm gonna grab it and push it and pull it at the same time. Put it aside, we're gonna reuse it. And I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to use the Cornish nut driver, we're gonna take out these two screws. All right, so this screw has the uh, ground wire in it. And put it aside and this one all right, so at this point, I recommend you to memorize the set. So the harness is uh, looking uh, towards us, those two cutouts. Same way the harness. So we're gonna remove this part of the bracket, put it aside, and we can pull out the motor. So this cap goes on the on the outside of the motor. We need to remove this bracket from the sensor bulb. We're gonna slide this bracket over the sensor. And we're gonna put it aside, we're gonna, we're gonna reuse it. This is the old evaporator fan motor assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Before installing the motor in, we need to install this bracket onto this sensor bulb. The one we took off from the old one. So I'm gonna place it on and slide about that far. All right, so we have a new motor here. I'm gonna place it through this uh, grommet shaft down harness facing us and I'm going to place the uh, bracket on the top, align the holes and we're going to install a couple of screws to secure that uh, motor. And I'm going to use a nut driver, quarter inch nut driver. Next I'm going to install this uh, blue plug into this cutout and it just slides in. Push it in, and then the insulation goes over, and I'm turning it over, and I'm going to place this cap onto the shaft. This is our insulation cap. Goes in down, make sure that the shaft is turning, and uh, Last thing before we're going to install it back into the fridge, we install this uh, fan blade onto the shaft. Push it in as far as it goes. All right, let's go and install it into the freezer. All right, now inside the freezer, and we're going to slide in this blue plug on the right. Same way we did on the left. Push it in all the way, and insulation, and then we're going to install it. We're going to secure the shelf with the fan motor to the rear cabinet wall. I'm using a nut driver, quarter inch. Next, we're going to connect this uh, right side harness plug, push it hard so it would lock. All right, next to left side.
I'm now gonna place this thermistor onto the evaporator. Just snap the bracket on. Okay, anyway, let's install the ground wire. Squeeze it onto this frame. Make sure it's tight. All right, I'm gonna work in uh, the fan cover. And so place it down like that, and then we're gonna go from underneath and plug that plug in. All right, so the plug goes in. And now we can install this cover. And now we can put these uh, top screws in. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. And we can tighten that screws on the top. And now we're gonna go to the bottom. All right, so we're gonna place this one through this opening. And the other one. Now we can uh, secure this fan cover at the bottom. Two screws. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. Uh, now let's install the rear access panel. I'm gonna slide it on the right side, so behind these rails. Push it in all the way. And I'm gonna let this harness out, the light bulbs. And press in the left side. Push it down. And now we need to place the tabs in the grooves on the top. So lift it up. Push it in, same thing here. And now I'm gonna pull up this panel. We're right, now gonna install the light bulb sockets. I'm gonna connect it to the harness. And I can see they are on different lengths. So the long one goes at the bottom. The sockets are identical, so we just install and now install them. All right, now I'm gonna install these light bulb sockets back in. I'm gonna simply fit this in and then push it into lock. Same thing here. And uh, slide it. It goes in, and then I'm gonna press it in. Now, after we align the holes, we can secure the rear access panel with four screws. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. All right, let's install these uh, rails. So we're gonna start with the bottom one. I'm gonna place the screw in here in that opening here. Put the torque 20 screwdriver into the screw. And I'm going to tighten it. And then we're going to uh, install the, uh, the middle one. And we're gonna pull out the rail and I'm gonna tighten the third one and uh, push in the rail. All right, so I can install the upper rail. I'm going to place the screw into this opening, opening, and putting the screw in. And I'm gonna match the holes and tighten the screw. And then I'm gonna pull out the rail. And I'm gonna find the second one in the middle. Tighten it also. And we're gonna go look for the uh, hole number three. All right, so we can push the rail in. So now we're going to install the ice maker and uh, it goes in with this rear end locking up on those two pins. We have two cutouts here. They locks over the pins. You're going to slide these uh, grooves over the pins and uh, you're going to support the ice maker and start the screw manually. And then I can 
take over with a Phillips screwdriver. All right. Okay, now we're gonna install these uh, side rails, uh, ice bucket support rails. And uh, gonna place this screw on the top in. And I'm gonna manually tighten it slightly. Then I'm using a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to tighten it, but not real hard, just enough so it would keep it in place. And then I'm going to install on this screw also. I need to match the holes. Don't tighten it yet. And then I'm going to install the rear one. I'm going to tighten it first and we we can tighten those. And now we will install the right side rail. Next we're going to install the support brackets. They're one on each side and they held in place if you remember by uh, two screws each. So I'm using a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to install them. I'm going to start with the top screw. I'm going to place it in and uh, tighten it slightly. Turn it slightly so I'm going to match the holes and install the bottom screw and tighten the, the top one and now the the opposite side the right side and now we're going to align the hole at the bottom and install the bottom screw and i can tighten both of them and now we're going to bring in the auger motor and yoke assembly down at the bottom and then I'm going to plug it in. It goes only one way in so we need to match these shapes of these terminals. Push it in, make sure it's locked. I'm gonna lift the assembly up and I'm gonna slide it, slide it in. We need to match the holes here. All four of them. Slide it left to right. After we match the holes, we're going to secure the auger motor and yoke assembly to the brackets with four quarter inch screws. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. And now I'm going to plug the ice maker in. Push it down. Make sure the tabs are locked. Let's install both light bulbs. Screw it in, turning it clockwise. So I'm not going to install this uh, light cover. We're going to insert this at the bottom into the slots, lift it up and push it in. Now we can install this uh, bottom basket, slide it on the rails and then we can lower down the front end and push it in. And now we can install the drawer back in. I'm going to slide the, the rear end, push it in, and pull it down. Uh, now we're going to install the upper drawer the same way. We're going to slide the rear end in and put down so the two knobs in the front will lock in. And now we're going to slide in this shelf. Bring the shelf in. I'm going to insert this uh, left side in. Uh, pull it up to the top and slide it to the left all the way. Now we can insert the right side in. And it's installed. Okay, now we can install the ice bucket back in. Uh, assume that you don't turn the auger. We can put it the same way we uh, pull it out. Slide it onto the rails and push it in. And now we can close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please 
check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.